Okay, now uh, we are in the best part of this series when we uh, try to um, incorporate everything we have learned to real music. We have a backing track, it has three chords, uh, one bar of C, one bar of A minor and then two bars of F major. So C, A minor and F, F. And the F is the fourth chord of the now, key of C. And it's very interesting now to hear how the F chord sounds. Uh, last time we had G, and G was the fifth chord, uh, five chord of the key. And now we have F, which is the four chord. Both are important and very uh, regularly used. Okay, and we should be very aware of the arpeggios. We already know the C major arpeggio over here in the C shape and uh, of course the A minor arpeggio also we know it very well and uh, then the F major we haven't talked about that yet and uh, reason is that it, we already know it sort of <laughs> because um, it's the E form and we know the C major in E form it was here starting from the C, ending to the C. Now we put this to the F. Over here, it's F. Same shape, we already know it. Okay, so that's the F major chord and arpeggio in the C form. And um, we can play only the top four strings, like this, or only the middle three, you can choose. So the C, only three middle, A minor, only three middle, or the fourth added, and F. Okay, and uh, now I encourage you to be aware of the um, of the co uh, chord tones, and so that you know when we go to the melody part, so that you know if you're playing root, third, or fifth, and how they sound different. Uh, that's important that you will uh, uh, master that skill also. But first, we will be doing the rhythmic uh, exercises. And uh, you can choose if you want to play them only three middle strings or at the high E string. So there's four strings playing. I will play first uh, with only uh, simple rhythmic stuff and then I will uh, start adding some notes from the scale. 